Hey y'all, today is the day we're going to start moving this part of the city over, uh, making that gap over here and getting the train yard set up down there and uh, making some changes. So let's go ahead and jump into that. So I am very low on mills plate parts. Um, so I just kind of roughed in some mills plates. Um, I have plenty of the one by twos I just put around because I don't have plates. Um, so I'm not too concerned yet because um, I'm thinking about trying to work maybe the treehouse into here somewhere. And so that'll get me some plates back. Um, I'm gonna probably put some gray plates underneath the train track um, just to give it that kind of look. So I'll gain some plates back there. So I'm not too terribly worried about it. I just needed to kind of get it roughed in and get it pinned together so that um, it was square for when I start to move all of this over um, to be butted up against so that I knew everything was all square. Um, and so I'm also going to need some mills plates parts for over here too. And that's not even talking about over there. So I'm going to need to probably order some mills plates, mills plate parts, uh, which sucks because that might really kind of delay things. But um, we're going to keep trudging along. We're going to at least get stuff roughed in and make sure all the train stuff works. Um, this is going to take a little bit of moving because this is all lit, obviously. Um, so I'm going to need to reroute some power things. And, um, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a project. But hopefully this will fix a couple things. Like I have this weird, awkward kind of split down through there. Um, so hopefully maybe having this squared up against something else will kind of fix some of that. And, um, yeah, let's go and get moving. So first we got to get uh, all the lighting unplugged. Harley's in the way, as per usual. I pulled out my uh, cabinets. And if you didn't know, they're actually... I actually have them screwed together on a, um, like a cart type thing. So they all move together because before I had them separated and moving them in and out was a total pain. Um, and then also, if you didn't know, I use under here for some box storage. And I, this is up off the ground because of uh, my water issues. Um, but these are my kind of like blockers to keep the cabinets from pushing all the way back and therefore going way underneath the table so that I can't reach them. And that's really annoying. So anyways, um, okay, Ooh, there's some parts, nothing good, uh, Roby house box. Um, anyways, so uh, right here is where all of that comes together, and then um, this goes on across to my Wi-Fi uh, plug over there, and the reason it doesn't plug in here is because I have a power strip that is um, Wi-Fi enabled, and each of the plugs is individually enabled to be um, selected. And so uh, that's why it goes on the, all the way over there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this unplugged, get these kind of pushed back up through the holes so that um, they don't just dangle and pull. And uh, then we are ready to start to kind of split some things apart. There's so many little fiddly bits that are wrapped up in this that I'm hoping to maybe kind of clean up a little bit when this all goes back together. Um, especially the lighting situation. There's just so many little tiny connections everywhere that are going to have to move once the train actually starts to pass through under there because they can't just kind of hang down all like loose like that. Also, there's going to be lots of Harley in this video because he's just crawling all over everywhere because he missed me because I was at Brickworld. So he's just all over me lately. So lots of Harley today. Okay, so I got this placed about where I want it, but I am realizing I have a problem. And I don't want to say it's necessarily a problem, but just something that I need to really check and think through. Okay, so down here, sorry, I need to move my tripod. Down here, I'm going to put in the switch track here so that it's two parallel lines running underneath here. But I need to make sure that two parallel, two parallel lines are not only going to fit under there, but clear that two by four. Um, so I need to stop and try a couple things and figure out the spacing to make sure that, uh, that's going to work because coming out the other side is fine as well. But again, I have the same issue on this side. I have that little piece of two by four. So I, I need to figure out if I need to remove that piece of two by four, if I need to just move these supports where they need to go. Cause the other thing that I need to clear is I need to also make sure that I clear this path as well for that track to go right down the middle as well. So I just need to move some train track around and make sure that that's all good before I go too much further. Once I got this top off, I knew instantly that this was not gonna work. 
And so um, I took the top off. I then took the brace apart so that I had a little more flexibility about how far apart those legs are, again, to make room for that train track going down through. Um, and ultimately, I decided I needed to just kind of rethink the whole thing. And part of that was because I needed to push that uh, backside leg all the way up against the wall to make sure that it was clearing the track from where it is. Um, and so I couldn't do that with the brace that was connecting the two kind of sets of legs together. And so I pulled that out first. And then I realized that I was struggling. Again, I'm just by myself, so I don't have someone to hold something while I'm like trying to set the thing back down. Like, so sometimes I can kind of get the shelf to sit without having to screw it together or make it a full set of legs like this. Um, I always think they look a little bit like AT, AT walkers, but anyways, um, so I ended up just taking the whole thing off, taking the cross brace support off and then actually screwing them down to the top because I figured out that the width of the top was actually about the width that I wanted to make clear the whole way through. Um, and so I just screwed the two leg supports to the bottom of the, um, to the top or the the leg supports to the top piece and just said that's what I was going to go with um, and I'm just going to make that work because I think that's the best solution for this and that way I didn't need to try to balance anything and the fact that the back legs were kind of hanging off the back side of the table just a little bit maybe a little bit nervous to not have it all kind of screwed together uh, for a little bit more support so let's take a closer look at this um, I got plenty of clearance room for down through there I got plenty of clearance room for down through there um, and actually, once I get through that little tunnel passage, I am probably going to put in a little bit of the flexi track and we'll pull them probably closer together, closer to like, um, you know, almost two or three bricks or two or three studs apart just to, um, you know, make sure it is really secure going down through there and uh, is close together. And that will save a little bit on bricks because I'm going to have to elevate this pretty high. Um, cause don't forget, I also get, gotta get ballast out of there. So ballast, it makes it almost two bricks above a base plate. And so, um, I gotta make sure I account for that as well. I also like that I'm going to be able to balance most of this on the back side of the wall track or the wall plate, which is kind of really nice. Um, cause then that gives me an anchor point somewhere along the way. Uh, and what I'll probably do is I will make a little bracket every couple of things that will fill in this space. So it just sits in there. It doesn't actually clip in. It'll probably just sit in there. Um, so I, when I go to remove stuff, it's not difficult. I just got to pick up the track and get it to release. Um, I am a little bit concerned about making sure my wire management stays up out of the way and not in the way. And I'm also seeing maybe another potential concern I need to look at because this this might be too high now for the front wall. So I need to take a quick look at that and uh, hopefully we can get back to putting this back together soon. Just moving everything back into place so that I can make sure it all fits and all that. I almost tripped over Harley several times, so that was fun, um, but just got it all sat back up there and ready to go. So again, I realized I've kind of hit a little bit of a snag. Um, that I'm gonna have to remedy before I go too much further. And that is, I'm kind of um, free floating in my grid, if you will. So obviously everything's on mills, right? So it's a 32 by 32 stud grid everywhere in the city. Everything is based on that, usually in increments of eight or four, or usually eight. Um, and so as you know, with some of my eight wide sidewalks, I get kind of off by eight. Like down here, I have eight in the front, uh, 32, and then um, eight in the back. So it's still in the increments of 30 of 32, but on eight. So maybe it's in increments of eight, if you wanna think about that. Anyways, regardless, I'm kind of free floating here. And the way that I have to build this, this section is I have to build this first and then the walls and then the stuff in front. Actually the stuff in front and the walls kind of go in together. The problem is I don't know where this is supposed to land because if you remember, I built this way. And so um, that's where my problem is. So what I think I need to do is I need to start to unseparate this, which is going to be a little bit of a mess. But I'm, I mean, I really do intend to keep 
this waterfall river thing together for the most part, um, at least for right this moment. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to have to modify it to get the train tracks through. But for the most part, my intent is to keep most of this together, slide this over, account for my plates here so that it gets this in line, and then I can line up all of that. So um, I think that's my plan, um, at least at the moment. This is not a fun separation because this bridge is some of the supports just sneak over a stud or two onto this side. And this is not all one piece, if you remember. It's kind of like hodgepodge together with some Duplo and Quattro in there. So um, I got to kind of be careful about moving it because it's not all just going to move easily together. Uh, so let's work on that and get that over in place. This actually moves surprisingly well for how many little not connected parts there are. And, uh, I was very pleased with how well this moved and made space really super easily. Okay. So we got this, uh, roughed in a little bit closer. Um, I got all four of my plates locked in and I actually did lock them in for right now. Um, this just helps to keep everything square. I also try to always use newer bricks. Um, just because they lock in a little bit better. But I am realizing that I have a couple of problems. Um, and not really problems, just this is going to be a bigger thing than I thought it was going to be. Um, so obviously, I've already accepted the fact that I'm losing all of this, right? Which is sad because, again, this was part of my original city. Um, but, you know, it's fine. There's bigger and better things coming. Um, so... I'm going to lose all of that to make this kind of turn in like this. Um, I might even need to do cut into this bank a little bit uh, to make that turn happen. But we'll see. Um, but I'm definitely going to need to redo most of this. Um, which is probably not bad because when I redo this, I'm going to go ahead and install lighting. Again, my plan is kind of continue lighting across here. So this was my next section to do lighting anyways. And a lot of this was going to have to get pulled out to um, accommodate for lights anyways. So um, if this is not the worst thing in the world. And at least having done this once, I have an idea of what to do next time or when I rebuild this. So again, definitely not the worst thing in the world. Just uh, is going to be a little bit more of a project than I expected it to be. Um, but it's fine. So if you remember the other day when we were talking about trains, um, the station will sit kind of like right in here. Um, so I'll need a walkway to get down here from up there as well. And then to go up and over the river. I think the river thing is going to be very cool. I really like kind of that aspect feature of it. So station will kind of sit here. And then the train shed will have kind of this back area um, with the still the through line passing through all the all the way back up against the wall. Um, and so I think my first order of business will be to, I think I'm going to wait a little bit on some of that um, and maybe work on this, getting this um, kind of tore apart and redone maybe. Um, but I might also try to put that back together to kind of give me some room. Um, but I also know I need to rip all this out as well. I'm trying not to rip too much out so that it looks like crap for, you know, a couple weeks. Um, so I'm still trying to, trying to kind of think through my order process here. So this is where I'm going to stop for today because uh, I also got to clean up stuff. I keep kind of just working on stuff and stuff is just piling up everywhere. So I need to clean up a little bit and uh, make some room for stuff because I also, when I went to pull the plates for this, I realized my plates are in these drawers, which I could not get to easily. So uh, I'm going to clean up a little bit, get this pushed back under maybe for right now. Um, I've also got to move my power station. So that main power strip that I plugged all the USBs in is I think right in, is right here. Um, and that needs to be a little bit more centralized on this, on this part because this is kind of like the part that it powers. Um, so I definitely need to do that as well, which means pulling a whole lot more out because it's plugged in pretty tightly, I think all the way like back in here. And so, um, I need to do that again. This is going to get ripped out, uh, because I need to make room so that this clears 
and um, I'll check that the Orient Express clears as well. So that's where I'm stopping for today. Make sure you like and so like and subscribe to stay tuned to uh, some more updates as we go. This is a big, big project, y'all. This is probably the biggest project that I've undertook since uh, starting the city, just because it involves redoing so much of the stuff. Usually I'm just adding on or just changing a small portion, but this is a large change. Um, so this is going to be happening for quite a while. So make sure you uh, stay 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 tuned to the upcoming updates thanks y'all